Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are creating some fun bathroom higher end projects that turned out really beautiful but also can be really functional while dressing up your space. This video is sponsored by Cricut, which is perfect because I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite dollar store items that you can really customize to make a huge impact whenever you're decorating or organizing any space. We are going to go ahead and jump on into the first DIY and I'm going to be using these toilet plungers. So the only reason I am using this is because the Dollar Tree dowel rods are really thin and wasn't going to hold up in the tray I was wanting to make. So I did just take the wooden pieces off of the toilet plungers and then Dollar Tree in the kitchen section or serving ware section, they have these really sturdy thick metal trays. So these were perfect to stack up and actually make like a functional bathroom tray. All you have to do is cut four pieces of this plunger so I tried to get two pieces each out of each plunger but make sure that you do saw off the rounded edge and the little screw parts so that everything is nice and smooth and everything looks the same but cutting them down to be even and then I can glue them in place with some liquid nails as well as using a dot of hot glue. I started at first without the hot glue and it was just a little wobbly while it was so wet so I started adding in the hot glue to the rest of them and it worked so much better and then I'm taking an old paintbrush to kind of smooth out the glue and then wipe it up with just a washcloth I always have a ton of Dollar Tree washcloths on hand so that's what I'm using and making sure I get these as straight as possible in their place and then I can glue the top one down in place it was so easy to spray paint this. I'm just using some nice quality spray paint. This is actually a dark bronze hammered spray paint from Walmart and it just gave it this really fun texture and then I loaded this with my favorite succulents and some bathroom decor. I wrote up a little towel but I feel like this is such a fun piece but like I said also really functional. I also had recently made one of these little tea towel ladders using plungers from the Dollar Tree. If you missed how I put this together, just pretty much the same way I laid everything out and cut it down with my miter box and saw and then using liquid nails to glue everything together. And this is so sturdy. It is still holding together really nicely and then um, staining this with some of my favorite flagstone stain. But this was a piece that I was using in the kitchen, but I thought it would be so fun to use this in the bathroom and turn this into like a hanging hand towel rack so that you would be able to dry your hands or just use it for looks but all I had to do to transition this into the bathroom was drill some holes in the top so that I could hang this because I don't have a lot of counter space in my bathroom so I wanted to hang this up on the wall so using some of my wired jute rope I just put it through the holes and then tied it on each end and all I had to do was add my towel over the top of this and hang it on the wall I did add a piece of tape to the ends to get it through the holes so it wouldn't unravel but this is such a fun idea you could even make a longer one or a bigger one using real wood but this was so easy put together just using Dollar Tree items and make sure you stay tuned because we will be making a fun little sign to really dress this up later on in the video Another project that I had recently made was this little riser or kind of like an elevated tray and I had made this using Hobby Lobby supplies. So if you missed this one, I picked up one of these longer boards. This is $1.99, but you could substitute pieces to make this from the dollar store. And then using these round knobs, I glued these on the bottom. And for the first project I had made, it was for more farmhouse decor. So I had stained the little legs and painted the top white, but we are giving this a makeover today so that this will fit really cute in a neutral colored bathroom. So I started by painting the little feet white and then I go over the top with some steel gray chalk paint. I 
I was recently in Dollar Tree and found these plain soap dispensers and I thought they were so cute and would be so fun to label them with my Cricut. So first off, I switched the tops because I felt like they had more contrast when you did that. So I instantly love that better. And then I made some really cute labels using Cricut Design Space. But I'm going to go in and show you more detailed about how I make the next project. So stay tuned for that. But how cute did these turn out? I love how the labels coordinate with the top and it just looks really nice put together on that tray. We have made some fun larger pieces for our bathroom. I want to go ahead and jump on in and show you some new things that you can make using your Cricut Joy or that's the machine I'm going to be using in today's video but you can make any of these projects with any of the Cricut machines but I want to share with you just how easy it is to use the Cricut Joy to bring your decor and your organization skills up to the next level. The Cricut Joy is so compact and easy to use. It's perfect for making labels like this, whether you are doing more organizing or just making home decor. But I have found a ton of dollar store items that you just need a little extra something to give them a higher end look. So perfect blanks. Um, and then you can just go in and label these. And labeling always makes everything look better. I feel like, especially if it's done really clean cut, um, and labeling everything is always a plus because everyone knows where to find the items they need. Everything stays more sanitary whenever it's in their own containers and items are easy to put back into place after anyone is done using them. One of my favorite things about using the Cricut machines is that you're able to use Design Space right from your phone. So obviously your phone is something that is always close by and easy to use anyway, so you're not having to get out your laptop or hook anything up, which is definitely a plus for me. So I love using Design Space on my phone, but it's just so easy to do. Some people might think that they would get overwhelmed using a Cricut, but it is so easy. I promise you make one thing and you know how to do it the next time and it's just like second hand. I just grab my machine and make anything that I want. So today, like I said, I am using the Cricut Joy alongside the Cricut Joy Smart Vinyl. And this is a vinyl that you don't have to even use a mat. So it's really easy to work with, super simple. On Cricut Design Space, which is an app you can download on your phone to get access to a ton of images that you can cut out, I am just scrolling through. I like to open my canvas, go to new, add new image, and then um, type in something that I'm interested in because this is a bathroom video. I'm kind of looking around for bathroom labels and I found some really cute ones that I thought would make these dollar store jars look so beautiful. So I love these. They have the clear lid and they're just really sleek and nice looking and they don't look cheap at all. So I chose a few different labels. Make sure you always measure your jar or what you are putting your decal on to make sure it's going to fit. So I got all three labels and these were coordinating but had the different um, labels on there and then I positioned them in place. The Cricut mat has guidelines so you can see how big it is going to cut. So I get that all set up on my phone and just hit the make it button and then it will prompt you the entire time about what to do when it's time to load your paper, what vinyl that you're using. I just selected the permanent smart vinyl and then it starts cutting. It even has the little process on your phone so you can see how far along it is on the cutting and see how much time is left. And then using my weeding tool, I pull all of the excess vinyl away. This is my favorite part. I feel like it's so satisfying getting all of the extra little pieces out of there. And then you reveal your beautiful little label or decal. And then using a piece of Cricut transfer tape, I cut down a small size, put it over my image, and this is transferring the image onto the clear paper. This not only helps you see where your label's going, it helps you get it really straight, but it all is transferring in one piece so that nothing is getting left behind and it's not going to be crooked at the end. So I'm using my little scrubber tool and or rubbing tool and getting that nice and tight on the transfer tape and then smoothing that on top of the jar. And that's how easy it is to go within just minutes of starting to cut this out and getting it on the jars. 
I think it looks so beautiful. I filled it up with cotton rounds and some makeup wipes, these reusable makeup um, cloths. I love using them and this will just keep them really safe and dust free so they're clean each time I want to use them. I am going to be using the same method on these next couple of DIYs, but how cute are these bath salt and bath bomb little labels? And I recently picked up some bath bombs at Dollar Tree. I think they were put out for Mother's Day, but they were like these mini little pink bath bombs that I thought would look so beautiful in here but there wasn't very many of them. So I am gonna go back and grab another bag of them. And then for the bath salt one, I wanted to add in some Epsom salt. This not only smells really good, so it's gonna make your bathroom smell good, even if you didn't want to use the one that didn't have a lid, um, but I feel like this looks really beautiful together, adds the perfect decor, and you could even set these on a shelf alone, but I just love the pop of the pink bath bombs in there and feel like it looks really high end. Like I said before, I wanted to make a cute little sign to dangle off of the side of my towel ladder or hand towel ladder. So I'm using one of Dollar Tree's square wooden planks and I found this adorable little wash and dry sign. I feel like it had the boho pattern on the side, which looked really, really cute. So I go ahead and measure how big I need it to be, make sure it is going to fit on there and then cut this out of black vinyl. And whenever I wanted to hang this on the ladder, I just hot glued a piece of nautical rope on the back. And then you can seal this with some Mod Podge to make sure no water splashes on it or damages any of the vinyl, although it is going to stay on there really tight and strong for a long time. Um, but I feel like it really dresses up the ladder and makes it look better and like it has that final decor touch to it. Next up is a really cool idea if you want to make some custom vlogs. I thought it would be fun to take these long Dollar Tree signs and divide them up into three pieces. I am using my miter box and saw, but these are surprisingly easy to cut through. So I chopped them up into three even pieces and it made the perfect little stackable blocks that you can decorate with. So I just traced the first cut to make sure they all are going to be nice and even and then painted these with some white chalk paint. I couldn't find matching labels on Design Space, so I am able to just to type in the words that I wanted. I chose to write relax, soak, and unwind, and this is in the musketeer font, I'm pretty sure, um, and then size them to fit on these blocks, and then cut this out also with more of my black vinyl. These are so easy to stick on. You could make this for any room of your house just by changing up the words or lettering. You could color the blocks or paint the blocks a different color but so easy to apply and I feel like they made the cutest little stackable blocks that I don't know just look so cute in the bathroom on a shelf. How cool is it that Dollar Tree has been, has been putting out these um, signs with like real wooden frames? These were so beautiful. So I definitely grabbed one as is to put in my little girl's room, but I wanted to make this one over for my bathroom. So I love how easy the back pops out of this and you're able to cover up the sign and put whatever you want in there. So I set the frame to the side, popped off all of the 3D pieces, and then I had recently ran in Target Dollar Spot and they had some really cool adhesive vinyl so I'm picking out this little green greenery one and I love that it looks kind of boho so um you might call me crazy this is vinyl that you could stick down but I wanted it to be nice and smooth and I was scared if I just pulled the thin vinyl up off of the backing and place it down you would be able to see those little places or glue spots where I removed the roses so I decided just to glue the thick backing down with it as well and then I am using my Cricut on this I picked out a cute little bathroom room decal 
and I sized it on Design Space, cut it out, but then I'm going to be adhering it to a piece of white cardstock because I feel like it needed a backing because it wasn't going to show up as great on the floral pieces or the greenery. So I decided to stick it to a piece of cardstock and then kind of tear around it to get more of a fun little look. I weeded it out and I accidentally took out the outline so I just trimmed around it and kind of made my own and then after weeding it just put it directly down on the cardstock. I was thinking it would even be really cute if you wanted to kind of tea dye or stain the edging of this to make it look a little bit older, but I feel like that gave it the perfect plain background that I was looking for. The greenery still pops out around the edging and just looks really nice together. I was worried about the torn edges. I didn't want them curling up in the humidity of the bathroom, so I decided to add in a couple of coats of the Mod Podge just to make sure everything is nice and tight down, and then I will be able to dust this off. So that wraps up today's video. Another huge thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I cannot tell you how much I love my Cricut and how much I use it every day. So be sure to go check out the links down below if you want to grab one for yourself and see which machine is good for you or is better for you. Um, thank you all again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.